Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. These videos are from my daily streams over on Twitch. If you haven't already, join the Discord below. Subscribe, like the video. And if you want to support the channel even further, check out the merch down below. I wanted to make this video because I saw Sprat's most recent video. And if you guys don't know who Sprat is, he's a college of the YouTuber. I'm sure all of you guys know who he is. If you're just a sniper in the community, he's been here since, you know, a very, very long time. And his most recent video, there's a thing called screen tearing. And in the title of this video, I'm going to show you how I personally fix it and what my workflow is and how annoying screen tearing is once you finally notice it versus a video that doesn't have screen tearing at all it's very hard to notice but once you notice it it's very hard to not see it if that makes sense so i'm going to put a picture on the screen right now what screen tearing is i'm going to put sprat's most recent video screenshot on the screen to show you what it is and i want to show you guys what i do to fix screen tearing now if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't seen my setup video please go and do that this is my gaming pc and i'm going to show you how to fix screen tearing on a dual PC setup versus a single PC setup. So this is my gaming PC right here and OBS is installed and open. And that's gonna be important for this video later on. And then this is my gaming PC where I have my GoXLR, my Elgato 4K, you know, Adobe, I can have Adobe open, whatever it may be, and editing videos, listening to music, stuff like that. So going back into the gaming pc the biggest thing that you want to do is go into display settings and make sure that the screens are diagonal because it's easier to lose your mouse going left to right which would be very annoying versus diagonal and it won't be as annoying so this is one and two it showed you the elgato is two and your gaming pc is one here is my settings that you can copy you can go to advanced displays the display to 4k uh mk2 and you can mine goes to 240 hertz but i keep it at 120 because call of duty i usually don't get more than uh 240 hertz anyway so it doesn't really matter to me necessarily but my biggest thing is wanting to show you guys how to fix it so without anything else further ado let's get back into it this is on the gaming pc you want to have the settings the same as mine basically this is your gaming pc and this is your god of 4k right like i said earlier install obs on your main gaming pc and once you go to your obs you want to make a scene that's called uh display capture and game capture display capture is just showing you what your screen is uh, i'm showing you how to make this youtube video from display capture which is showing you basically everything and everything that pops up on the screen as you see it that's what the stream will see if you're scared about linking sensitive information or anything important is on your gaming pc you can do a game scene and the only thing that will show up is a full screen application on your youtube videos versus or on your you know stream or youtube videos whatever it may be without linking any personal information a lot of the time i'll do scene display capture right click on whatever you want to display go to full screen projector and click the 4k 60 pro elgato and basically what that's going to do is that's going to copy the image from the elgato screen record the elgato and it's just going to be easier to screen capture the elgato versus having the gameplay just record from the game allowing screen tearing and stuff like that and that's literally basically what i found again if you want to switch it to the game cam and just having game cam do the same thing and click this and then if i click this it's just going to go fully black because it's not going to open unless i have a gaming application up again that's saving me from linking personal information here is again the gaming pc and the scene what i see and this is my gaming pc moving making this video if that makes sense and then you can obviously lock these so they don't go out of place or anything like that but that's it every single time you play a game on your gaming pc you're going to want to have that open and it is sometimes annoying because it can it will drop your fps a little bit but i would have a little bit of fps drop than screen tearing quality issues so if this video helped you definitely let me know comment down below i'm going to be showing you other tips and tricks on pcs on how to do other things like this i hope it helped and i hope you guys have a beautiful awesome day and i'll see you guys in my next video